what if Naruto had Thunder God mode? What should I actually call this? You know what? I'll just call call it that. But if anybody comes up with a better name, um, then I'll just use that one. And yeah. So, what if Naruto had Thunder God mode? Thunder God mode. So I left off on them getting introduced to the bell test and all that. Um, Naruto and then when it starts the bell test, Naruto and all of them would jump off into the forest instead of Naruto staying there to battle. That's whenever, oh, after waiting a while, Kakashi would be walking around with Sasuke leaving first instead of Naruto getting beat up. He would leave and the whole battle would happen the same. But he would get the headhunter jutsu and he would be trapped underground. That's when Sakura's moving around trying to find Sasuke to team up with her darling, she says. And that's whenever she would be met with a genjutsu by Kakashi. This is whenever Naruto would walk out of the forest saying, it's my turn. And he would run. After, he wouldn't have much training to do, so he wouldn't be any close to even learning a bit of the Flying Thunder God. But because he does, it kind of just fits his God, God mode. I would say he would at least be able to teleport with two clones instead of having three. So, just to test out his theories, he would take take one, make three clones, throw one at Kakashi, acting like he's trying to punch Kakashi, but Kakashi would of course punch it away, saying that's such a slow attack, tagging him in the chest. This is whenever Naruto and its clone creates two other clones and start running around with one of them jumping with the other one which um, Kakashi acts like he doesn't notice one go behind him and the other two f jump in front of them he's like what's this supposed to do and that's whenever Naruto and another Naruto appear in front of Kakashi punching him in the stomach with Kakashi punching and kicking the other one sending them flying with the both poppin poppin and that's whenever um, one, the real Naruto would appear and start going hand-to-hand -hand combat with Kakashi. Hitting, just going hand-to-hand. -hand. But Naruto would have more strength just because he does have god power. And it's not like Kakashi is a strong shinobi. We know he can at least open the first gate, maybe the second gate, but he's not like ridiculously strong. And his, he's more focused on skills and copying. But I'll say, if you want to overpower him, they would be about the same strength. Kind of, He would be more like Zabuza versus Kakashi, where Zabuza was, of course, stronger. Kakashi was more skilled. And diversity in battles. So, yeah. Um... Deku or Naruto would fight with him a while and this one he would jump back about getting hit by a I'll say a water style not a water dragon not a water vortex just like a small water style because he doesn't think a guinea can take a mirror or a water dragon head on without taking too much damage so yeah, but Naruto would be not affected by this. He would run in, and he would go start fighting again. That's when Kakashi would see that it doesn't seem that he weakened at all. 
and all that, he's just fighting even harder now. I was wondering if he would go with the same bout, but whenever he tries to... Whenever he sees Naruto doing the same moves, he like amateur and would do try to do the same move that launched him into far back. Um Naruto would get he would get met by almost a kunai striking him in the head. But he would jump back. Naruto has put out shy clones in the forest while he wasn't looking already. And that's whenever more kunais would come out of the forests everywhere, spreading out. And Naruto would jump into the river. And then the bottom of the river, this is whenever a whole bunch of Naruto's would jump out. And then this would bring a kind of a wave of water by how much water is flowing over. It would hit Kakashi. And stuff, and it would cover some of the wetland. It would make the land wet, like really wet puddles. And Naruto and, and Kakashi would fight again, fighting over and over. But whenever Naruto jumps back into the air, this is whenever a shockwave lightning will hit the water from clones from the trees, would jump down. And hit it with a shock of electricity circling through it. And it would hit Kashi, making him jump back. Which would harm him a little bit. Well, harm him with lightning shock and all that. Naruto, with all this battling with the Chonin, he would be hurt a little bit. So he has some bruises there, here and there. But not too fatal. And Kashi either. After seeing Naruto take down or battle with Kakashi about even levels, Sasuke would be like, I could probably do that if I just went for real. And says we should just work together. It seems like it would. he would just jump. He would jump down next to Naruto, and that's whenever Naruto would say what you're doing, dodging a water dragon while pulling Sasuke. Sasuke would give his plan out, saying that it must be this type of test, and they would jump back completely. And they would land right next to Sakura. And they would explain the plan, and he would supply the execution for the plan. So this way when Naruto would charge back out, but instead of having this fist-to-fist -fist combat, he would take two kunais and try to strike him. This is where he would, Kakashi would feel a sense of something about to kill him, and he would dodge sideways with shootings coming. And this is where whenever he sees these shootings, he looks at them for a second. And he sees, he sees a couple of them pop, turn into Naruto clones. And this is whenever more parade of kunais would come out. But this is when Naruto would open up his shirt with what Kakashi sees is the shadow clone of Naruto having explosive kunais ran all the way up his shirt, and he would. Spin, shooting kunais at him. Kashi would, of course, dodge the ones straight at him, but the ones that hit the ground would explode, knocking him back. Sasuke would run over, aiming for his bells, but of course we'd get kicked. But this is where Naruto, the real Naruto, would come out of the smoke, sliding below, and would swing his hand. Making a cut, kind of like a cutting area wave in the air with it cutting down. Sakura didn't do any part of this. They just got Sakura, but all she did was throw the shootigans all over. That's about it. Man, yeah. 
But they would, of course, Deku or Naruto would cut the bells and grab them, throwing them to Sasuke. Because Sasuke would be also closer, and he would did all, I would say, a lot more work. Because, um, the person that was actually fighting Sasuke was, or Kakashi was Sasuke as, a, you know, a clone or transformation. And he was, that's why Kakashi was thinking how he got hurt more than last time he thought and he was weaker. But yeah, they would win the belt test. And during this, they would become guineas, and they would go around doing d rate missions, because that's what all guineas are supposed to do, and all that. Naruto would rack up some money doing these, and he would catch up to the cat every time. During this, Naruto would be training his jutsu, his flying thunder god. Even testing it out on the battlefield, or not the battlefield, that's what they call it, or they're supposed to call it, but tracking dogs and all that. So, he would test it out a couple times, failing and stuff. But this is whenever I say, after these types of training, he would get it down to not have to have clones to teleport. But he hasn't got the idea to, you know, attach stuff to kunais and fly over them and hit them with an attack yet. And he won't learn Chidori because it's impossible for him to learn Chidori because there's a select reason why that is. The reason why it's called tunnel vision is why nobody else can learn a Chidori or be kind of useless because they can only go in a straight line. But I have an alternative to that, to the Chidori, which is also another lightning attack. It was like lightning lance, and I think that's the move that the Raikage uses, using his arm to cut people's heads off, or that's how it was in the anime. But yeah. So he would practice, and he would learn to put seals on with his palms. And learn how to teleport. And after all this stuff. They would train. Or he would train. And they would do all these missions. Eventually. They, Naruto would get kind of bored. And Sasuke would be bored. And they would complain a little bit. The third Okage would be fine. I'll give you a sing rank mission. To protect the bridge builder. Taz not walking out. Naruto is taller than Sasuke in this. Not, like, extremely taller. So he wouldn't make fun of Naruto. He would make fun of Sakura in this. And this, we're going to leave off this what if. Hit the like button. I don't know what I'm doing. Hit the like button.